Hey guys, so it's time for my weekly D-Stash purchases. This will be number four now, and probably my last one for a little time. As I said in my last video, um, I am going to be going on holiday in two weeks, and I want to have a little bit of spends to use on holiday. Um, while I'm there, I'll see if there's any wax in like little boutiques and stuff that I can buy. So until then, I'm trying to, I'm actually de-stashing quite a lot of my Yankee, because I don't, just don't use them, I use vendor wax more now. Um, and I'm going to try and stay away from the de-stash groups. I will be around, but I just won't be buying, or hopefully not buying. So let's just get into what I got this week. Um, as always, I'll start with Super Tarts. So... These super tarts actually weren't on a group. They were going to be on a group later in the evening. But my friend actually messaged me saying that this seller is going to be putting up loads of super tarts. This is what she's selling. So I just went went through it and had a look what I wanted. So I bought these ones from her. Let's start with Carlisle. And we get my trusty scent list up. I remember that this one had either some sort of blossom in it. And I absolutely loved it, the sound of it. And I do know my friend actually wanted this one, and I was like, sorry, I've already bought it. <laughs> so, where am I going? The scent list on Super Tarts is huge. Right, Carlisle, soothing chamomile blossoms and sweet huckleberry. And it has the little stethoscope because Carla was actually the doctor in Twilight so so I can smell the berries I can't really smell the chamomile blossom but I can smell the berries but it's probably going to be a nice night time melt um, I'll try one one cube um, if it's not exactly what I imagine it to be I'll send it to my friend but we'll have a go with that tonight next one is Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh, I knew straight away that I wanted this one. Um, I actually asked her to put it to the side for me while I was looking at the others. Because I knew I'd want this one straight away. This is Herbal Lavender, Sweet Candy Canes and Fluffy Cotton Candy. So it's lavender, peppermint basically. And cotton candy. And it's dual toned. With the bones. I can smell the lavender. And this... It might be spearmint actually. Lavender and spearmint. But I can't smell cotton candy. So that one's gonna be a nice one. It might be a like a nighttime melt when I'm sick. But Nightmare Before Christmas is actually one of my favourite focus. One of my favourite uh, Disney movies and definitely my favourite Tim Burton movie. Um he's my favourite director. So I knew I was getting this either way. And the last one I got was Ravenclaw, which is Blue raspberry and lavender. And if you hadn't guessed already, lavender is like my favourite scent. So it's dual toned and just a swirl on the top. This one was broken transit as well, which is as always a super art. And yeah, I get both scents here. It's mostly dominant on the blue raspberry, which I'm guessing is blue blue sugar. Yeah. Blue sugar raspberry, but I don't get Lavender it might come out more when it's warm, but yeah, that, that's going to be a favourite. I do do like all three of those. They're all kind of like nighttime melts, which is like the perfect thing for me. And then the last one I got from that D stash was this one here, which is L three Waxy Wonders in Good Night Moon. And I didn't have the scent notes for this. I just went on the idea that it's going to be for nighttime, for relaxing. Uh, hard time to open. It's got a moon shape on the front there. No, you can't actually smell anything. It smells plasticky, so I don't know how old this actually is. I think the more you smell it, you can smell like pink sugar. Let me see if I can find the scent notes. Hold on with me, guys. Let's see if I can find it. Yeah, I'll show you what's going to use. It is pink sugar chiffon, soothed lavender, soothing lavender, and pink frosted cake. So I, I was almost right. Yeah, you can smell the pink sugar chiffon, but can't smell the lavender. 
You can't smell the lavender on the bottom either. So hopefully the lavender will come out when I warm that, but that is definitely a nighttime melt for sure. So that was all 1D stash. And then purchased one thing from VCS from a friend that I've purchased from before, and she's a great seller. Uh, this is Joanna, and I do have all the scent lists for these. Scent notes for these. It's just trying to get to it. So this is strawberry rose in, rosemary mint shaving cream. And rosemary mint is slowly becoming one of my favourite scents as well. This is two coloured, just there. Yeah, you can smell the rosemary mint and the shaving cream. But the strawberry doesn't come out. Not a lot at the moment anyway, it's just rosemary mint. So I got that one there. And that was one, one D stash on its own. And then the next one I got is this one here. I actually bought only these two, but I got sent two samples as well. And both of these are going away for the autumn. This one is Cinilla by Tiffany Candles. It is exactly what you think it is. It's cinnamon vanilla. Yeah, you smell both, like equals, equal parts. And it's in a cute pumpkin shape as well, so that'll be perfect for autumn time. And then this one is Apple Cinnamon Spice. And I thought this would be really heavy on the cinnamon. But it's not. It's just like an apple pie. It's great. That would be a great one for autumn. So I originally wanted to buy this one here, which is Her Majesty. And this one, the girl I bought it from, actually had already tried it. That's why it's cut up already. And it is Lemon Curd Rosemary Mint. So again with the rosemary mint. So it looks like that. So this is predominant on the rosemary mint. Not on rosemary, the lemon curd, sorry. Yeah, it's mostly lemon curd, so I'm, I'm wondering whether the rosemary mint will come out at all in that one. And then she also slipped in this one to help with postage, which was striped sweater. I remember this one's predominantly strawberry. Da -da -da. I can't find it. Stripes butter, orange marmalade, blueberry cobbler, and strawberry preserves. Yeah, strawberry. It's just dominantly strawberry. Whoa, the lighting's gone really bad. Yeah, I don't really smell the marmalade or a blueberry cobbler, cobbler just the strawberry. So, but strawberry's not a bad thing for me, I like strawberry. So I've got loads more VCS in this these ash. And then my last little one was Let me move over. My last little one was Sassy Girl. And I only bought a few things because I've not really tried much Sassy Girl yet and I want to place an order at some point. But I thought, why not try? We're just trying some of these. So this first one is clean cotton. And you can tell these are paraffin because there's a dip in the middle. This one reminds me, it's going to sound really weird, but this one reminds me of my nan's bathroom when I go to visit her in Wales. It smells clean, it smells like linen. Yeah, that, that's going to be a nice one. It'll be a half and half melt, obviously. I'm not going to melt all that at once. But that also would be 